Hi, my name is Judy Johnson, and I've been an Oasis tutor for eight years. Actually, it was a friend of mine. While we were out walking for exercise, she told me that she had been tutoring for several years. So I started to quiz her about that because I wasn't familiar with the program. And I decided pretty much right then and there, wow, this would really be something I would enjoy doing because I used to teach first, second, and third grade. So I haven't been, at that point rather, I hadn't really been with children very much other than my own. And there's always something so enjoyable about being with other people's children. So I decided to look into it. It's just a joy. Um, and it's so um, fulfilling to know that I could be making a difference in somebody's life and that I could also be sharing my enthusiasm for learning and reading. Hopefully my student that I have that particular year would feel the same way, that it's not really so hard or doesn't feel like work. It actually feels like fun. And that's what I want to share with students. So I feel like that's easy to do. So writing for her is not that easy, but she went to the top of the list on the My Family page and she wrote my name. And I know that she's very close to her mother and father. And I was very touched. I also thought, how clever of her. <laughs> but, you know, I was already endeared to her, but it was just so sweet. And I thanked her. I told her I was very touched. This is actually my second year working with her. So she's a, um, a second grader this year. And last year, when I uh, would choose materials for us to work with, um, I would choose books that had very little content. And I found that really difficult to a certain degree because sometimes there's not much um, meaning to the text. It's, you know, it doesn't feel as much like a story but I didn't want her to feel frustrated last year because she didn't recognize words or didn't know them. So um, this year, when I began the year, I had to get a sense of how much might she have improved over the summer, you know, while maybe hopefully reading. Um, so I chose some books that didn't, again, have a lot of content. But I found out very quickly that she had actually mastered a lot of sight words that we had worked on so diligently last year, last year the previous year. And um, so I, it wasn't so much that I was challenging her with more difficult text in books, but I could see that she was really kind of energized about attacking more, more vocabulary. And so we really had a wonderful time reading together this year. I'd say go for it. I, I would say it, it adds purpose to your life. It fills mine, as I said, with joy. Um, hopefully that happens with the students I work with also. Um, I also think it's really powerful to think that I could be making a difference in a young person's life. And then from an, an, a standpoint that has more to do with my own age group, it's a wonderful way to meet people, make new friends, um, to be enriched through the meetings that we have where we have speakers um, most of the times that we gather together and sometimes we gather together just for social reasons. So even though I feel like my life already is very full, this just makes it filled with more joy.